The Drake Bulldogs of the Missouri Valley Conference are with us. Head coach Darren DeVries, Tucker DeVries, at and right, Darnell Brody. We're going to ask Darren to start off with a statement on this game, and then we'll go to questions for all four of the Bulldogs on the dais. Darren, please. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, you know, congrats to Washington State on a, a hard-fought win. You know, certainly a game that, uh, you know, we felt like we had a, a, a chance there and, and, and a nice, um, you know, gotten a little cushion there late in the game and, and um, um, you know, just weren't able to, to close it out. Um, you know, it's always tough to end your season. And, um, you know, and today was, um, you know, a, a tough one always. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I thought our guys played extremely hard and, um, you know, left it all out there and, and uh, unfortunately came up a little short. Thank you. Questions? Let's start right here on the left-hand side. Thank you. Darren, can you touch on maybe how much the game changed down the stretch when Darnell fouled out? Yeah, that was that was uh, that was tough for us. Uh, you know, with their size and physicality, having Brody out there um, is certainly um, you know, helpful. Uh, so I thought, uh, you know, down the stretch, we could have really used him, especially on the defensive end. But and, and he had a really good second half uh, too. Um, and, you know, we were able to get it inside a lot more in the second half and go to him and go play through him a little bit more. And, um, you know, weren't able to do that, obviously, with, when he was out there late in the game those last four minutes or so. Right down here, Harry. Thank you. Uh, Darren, the last maybe seven and a half minutes, you guys, just two field goals. What happened offensively that got you guys out of rhythm? Um, a combination of things. Uh, they they went to a zone there for a little while. They went to a one three one. Uh, took us out of our rhythm a little bit there. Um, missed a few few good looks at, at a critical time. We had gotten up eight. I thought we had gotten a couple good looks there to maybe extend it to eleven, um, and weren't able to get a couple of, a couple of those go down. So, um, yeah, there was a there was a couple of bad turnovers in there a couple of you know possessions we didn't get exactly what we you know would have liked um, you know and ended up having to take something uh, challenge late clock so um, you know I was disappointed I thought we had really found a nice rhythm there gotten up eight and felt like we were starting to take control of the game maybe one one of those goes down and, and uh, we're in a good spot but um, you know then it, it didn't happen Back here on the left. Things go a little sideways for you down the stretch last year, and then and then this happens. Just what's the disappointment level to maybe have a little bit of deja vu here, Darren? Yeah, it's um, you know certainly last year's game, this year's game, they're two different teams, two different games. But you know the, uh, the you know having a lead late in these games and, and things like always. You know, I think the first thing as a coach is you, you blame yourself and you, you go back and think about everything you could have done differently. And uh, there's certainly plenty of possessions there where um, you know, I would have liked to maybe had, we had done something else. And, um, uh, you know, so I thought, again, I go back to our guys, you know, played their hearts out and then put themselves in position to win. And, and um, we came up a little short. Yeah, Tucker, talk a little bit about Darnell and the three years you guys have spent together and what he's meant to you. Yeah, it's been really special to be able to play with Brody. Uh, you know, he's, he's meant a lot to this program. Uh, he, he, I mean, he's put so much into, into what this program's about. And, you know, the fans love him, we love him. And the work he's put in to put himself in this position, and uh, you know, honestly, really wanted to win this one for for him, uh, being his last year, and uh, you know, this is this is why he came back to get back to this stage. And I thought he he played a great great game, especially the second half. He kind of took over the game, and uh, you know, for us not to close it out for him, you know, hurt hurts pretty bad, especially not being able to have him out there for the last three minutes. Uh, but, you know, I, I can't thank Brody enough for everything he's done for me uh, and, and the program because uh, he's meant a lot to everybody here. Back to the left. Darnell, to follow up on what Tucker just said, 
um, just how are you feeling right now about the way things have ended here and, and your career as you hear your teammate talk so highly about you? Uh, well, my years here at Bank Jake has been absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm very grateful for my coaches and my teammates for believing in me and for how far I came and them putting their trust in me and helping me get to where I'm at. Uh, and at the same time, uh, this is a brand new team, young team, and we came so far and we played as hard as we can and that's all I can ask for as far as being a senior. Anything else for the Bulldogs of Drake? All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Best of luck in your futures. Thank you all.